Hey guys, it's Paul and Jang, and I'm gonna talk about mobile homes and basically putting it on your land. Should you do it? Should you not? How should you go about it? Uh, okay, so here's here's been my experience. Uh, I'm in Lynchburg, Virginia, right now. I used to live in San Antonio, Texas, and so if you just you know type in mobile homes on Google, you'll find a plethora of different dealers. Uh, and basically what happens is um, each of these dealers get, you know, uh, their homes from a manufacturer. They get it manufactured over and they'll showcase it on their property, but they'll do an order to that warehouse and send it over to your land. And uh, what's cool here is that if you have, th there's two ways to go about it. If you have the land already, um, your these dealers will basically kind of work it out with you to get financing for your mobile homes and they will have someone come in and install it for you, right? So they'll like work out all the details to make it happen. I think it's a really convenient way to do it. So, uh, you know, just should you like do a mobile home? If you want a house, uh, particularly in a rural lot, you're going to have to check zoning. I think mobile homes are a great way to go. Um, they're generally a lot more affordable. They're, um, yeah, they're, they're more affordable than just buying a house. I think the resale market over here isn't as good, but, uh, uh, you can do basic repairs and keep upkeep and then, you know, just rent it out or even owner finance it to someone else. So, it, so I think there's kind of ways to, to go around the depreciation depreciating factor compared to if you just got a building like a house house. But um, for those that just want to either be rural and keep expenses low, I think mobile homes are really good. Uh, there's a sub market as well where you could uh, basically just buy mobile homes from other people and then have a tractor, you know, have like a mobile home, you know, truck person bring it over to your land but you won't get some of the connections that you'll get like from a dealer basically hooking up with the utilities if it's close or like the well or some of that other stuff. And uh, so, you know, if you want ease, uh, go with a dealer. If you want price and you're willing to figure all that out, check out some of the sub markets um, out there. Like see, see this over here, 95 mobile homes for sale. So there's like these different uh, groups that kind of have like a reselling market, Clayton Homes, uh, MH Village. I think they're all kind of um, Allen Homes. They're all dealers. So they kind of have an automated process to kind of help you out. So that that's it with uh, mobile homes. I find I found that uh, the websites themselves, like Clayton's kind of like everywhere. Like um, but like what, what I found is like these options in stock sale, sale, like it's real hard to tell just from looking at the pictures and the details, like what it actually looks like. And so I know they have like the layouts and stuff and it's a good idea to like, you know, look at it, but you're really not going to get the feel of it unless you go, um, go down to, you know, the site itself, check it out and talk about financing, talk about how the, the process works. And each of these dealerships have different um, different manufacturers, different financing options that they partner with banks. And, you know, uh, you're going to have to weigh that all out and see if see if it's viable for yourself. So so that's it with like mobile homes. Uh, overall, I'm, I'm generally a thumbs up for it. I, I consider doing a mobile home. In San Antonio, instead of my, so I bought a, a three bedroom, two bath um, when I was in San Antonio, Texas. And, you know, for a while I was looking at mobile homes, uh, but it, it, the, I, like, I never really pursued it because I needed to be closer to the city when I was teaching. And, uh, you know, I didn't want to be too rural, but like, especially now, like that I'm out of that world, I would consider, you know, getting a mobile home for, for my family. I think it's really good. I'm, I'm into that RV, RV mobile homes, like mobile life lifestyle. And, uh, you know, it's just much cheaper to get a mobile home than it is like a house. So there's ways to like get around that, like, you know, subject twos and some other like special real estate investing strategies, but like 
overall, like for those that don't know about some of that world, mobile homes are like really good. And it's just nice and easy uh, compared to some of the other strategies. So that's it with mobile homes. If you are interested in buying land, um, you know, for a potential mobile home or to basically buy and sell, it is how my wife and I were able to quit our jobs. If you're interested in that, uh, check it out in the description below. Uh, basically, we buy the land really cheaply and then sell it for uh, cash or for owner financing. And so that owner financing has been a way to for us to get steady income streams. So if that's of interest to you, it will be in the description below. Subscribe, like the uh, video. I'd really appreciate it. Take care. Have a good one.